welcome to my channel. So today I've got an, a diamond painting unboxing for you. Yes, I know I've recently started my own diamond painting channel, which is up here, uh, but it's brand new. There's only like 40 odd people subscribed there. If someone contacts me here to unbox on this channel, this is where I'm gonna do it. So this is a diamond painting from a company called Color Relaxation and Basically, they contacted me asking me if I wanted to do an unboxing. So I said yes. Uh, that's all I agreed to do. There's no, you know, all of my opinions are my own. So I don't know what it's going to be like in there. This is what we're going to find out together. I will just say before I go any further that they did invite me to be an affiliate, and uh, which I have signed up for. But the links currently below, as I'm making this video, are not affiliate links. Now, if in the future, future you, you look at the description and see that it is an affiliate link, that means I've done the painting and I'm happy with the product and I don't mind uh, recommending the company. But starting out, I will not, even though I have the option to be an, aff an affiliate, I will not be putting in affiliate links until I know what I'm dealing with. And uh, you can only tell a diamond painting company until after you've done the diamond painting. So yeah, that's all that talking. Let's get this open. The other thing I will mention as I'm unboxing this is that um, as is quite often the way with a variety of these uh, more sort of um, what's the word I'm looking for the sort of broad spectrum of diamond paintings uh, they don't have licensed artists uh, I think they probably use things like Shutterstock maybe but as with all companies like these uh, in this sort of bracket of diamond painting sellers you should obviously do your reverse image check to make sure nothing has been stolen now this poor box <laughs> just this is the story of my life it's, i don't know what the people do at my uh sorting this didn't even come from the royal mail it came via hermes and it's still completely mashed so hopefully inside is okay let's get the box open and we will see so they do have their own branded boxes so that's nice i do like that <gasps> oh look it's poured glue i didn't expect that i actually thought I actually thought that this would be another one of those um, double-sided adhesives. So let's just get this open. Now, we have oh, the tiniest boat ever. That just seems, it's about the same size as the green boats, but it's a white one with a funnel. And what else have we got in this pack? We have some tweezers. Uh, they're just the little, um, the really thin foil they're not foil, obviously, but they're, they're really thin, uh, but they're angled ones, so that's quite nice. Um, yeah, so that's the fairly basic toolkit. Tool it's got a multi-placer on it, which looks like a... Let me do it out. I think that's a three. Uh, but no grippy, but that's okay. And I do like the sparkle pens, I don't know why. I prefer them to the pink pens, so... <laughs> So that's fairly standard tool toolkit though, so we'll get that over there. And, and, oh, if you are not familiar with how I do my diamond painting unboxings, is if you check along the bottom of the video, I do use chapters because I know not everybody likes to look at drills. So if you want, I'm gonna do the drills first, just like that, relax a bit. But if you want to skip ahead, to just see what the painting is, then you can. But if you enjoy looking at drills, then stick around. So let's get this open. So I chose to go for a round painting. Oh, we've got. Them. So they come in these little bags. Uh, they are acrylic drills because we have dimples in the bottom, so you can tell what these are. Uh, lots of three eight six five. That's white. Uh, obviously, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, little drill, the little bags. But uh, let's see what this is. So this is. Well, got a hint there of what the picture was. I'll cover that up. <laughs> Spoil my surprise. So we have a little inventory list here, and they, which they've ticked it off. So they have manually checked it. And they've got a little instructions thing in here. If you've never done the diamond painting before, I'll put that to one side. But yes, so we've got a lot of... What have we got? So we've got some pinks. Some sort of... That's a sort of... Is it an orangey pink? This is like a peach. 
Uh, they do come, come in individual strips. That's that's one saving grace uh, with these little bags. At least they are joined together. There's nothing worse than if there's lots and lots and lots of like individual bags. It's a nice rusty red. I like that. Yeah. What's this? Uh, I don't actually see. Oh, there it is. There is a number on it, but it's really hard to read. Uh, so that is 838. But because it's on dark brown drills, it's really hard to read. This might be one that uh, I'll have to kit up when I do it. Just because working with these bags all the time is super annoying. So that's 739. We have a nice sort of fuchsia pink here. Lilac. One of my favourite ones. Uh, this sort of, um, what would you call it? Cadbury's purple. Butterscotch, yum yum. Oh, lots of this peach as well. So this is 818. I think at each of these drill bags, generally they say these have about 200 drills in each bag. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15 bags of that. A nice butter yellow. Another pink. As you can see, when I pick this, uh, I picked a really nice big multicolored project. <laughs> I do like I do like vibrant. So that's a, a couple of greys, so that's going to provide the contrast. Very nice sort of turquoisey blue. Very very pale uh, lilac. Sky blue. Another yellow that's a bit darker. Oh, a nice red there. It's a uh, three seven seven seven, so that's a nice sort of. I don't know if the camera is uh, being a bit naughty at the moment. It looks a bit darker on camera than it is. It's a nice rusty red, almost a wine red, but not quite. Uh, kind of almost coral. That's the only single bag that I've got. I think everything else is at least two bags, but that one, coral. Sort of moss green. No, not as dark as moss green pale green. That's like a minty one. We have a navy blue. What is this? Again, it's really hard to read. That is one problem where um, the, sim the numbers are on top of dark colours. So that is 823. The funny thing is, is like on these colours, like the number appears on the seam, but it doesn't appear on the seam on those where it'd be useful. Oh, another single bag. Or did I do that single bag? I can't remember. No, it was a different colour, wasn't it? Oh yeah, definitely got a few. So that's a nice um, sort of mustardy brown. Grey, another brown. So, do you want to see what the picture I chose is? Let me just get these out of the way and I will show you. Right, okay, so let's get this turned over. I got a, what did I get? 50 by 40, if I recall. So that's just, oh, it goes this way up. And there it is. Super, super colourful butterfly. Actually, let me just zoom you out a little bit more. Right, there we go. That's better. So you can see this huge butterfly. I think it was called a watercolour butterfly. Obviously, I'll leave a link direct to the painting below, as I mentioned. If I do change that to an affiliate link, I will clearly state it before you click, should you not for any reason want to go through an affiliate. Uh, obviously I get a small kickback it makes no odds to how I judge things though if I like something I like something if I don't I will say so so one thing that like I mentioned when I pulled it out the box is that I did really like that it's poured glue I was surprised by that so they do um, they do brand their canvas so that's sometimes it's the little things isn't it and but we only have one legend up this side and we do have this thumbnail let's look at this thumbnail Okay, so future me here, uh, ironically, when I pulled up the canvas to show you how sharp the symbols were, my camera didn't go into focus and I didn't notice. So I've got a whole section that where the entire video is out of focus. So we're gonna try that again. Uh, basically, all I did though was I was just showing the thumbnail, which is here, and also the symbols. So the symbols, 
better. So the symbols are sharp. You can see they're really sharp. Um, now we do have, well, let me just talk about the, the, the symbols on the legend here, because I think this is important. Uh, we have symbol one is number one. I know that sounds silly. Number two is symbol two. Number three is symbol three. Now that does sound silly, but not all companies do that, especially with the really cheap uh, Chinese ones. I think it's because like this isn't their alphabet, so they don't think, oh, let's have one is one. Uh, but there are canvases where you'll say, see symbol, num uh, yeah, symbol number one, or colour number one is symbol number five, and then symbol number two would be symbol number seven. And you get to number seven, and it'd be symbol number two, and you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? It's not. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, there is no nine. Uh, presumably they've decided not to do that because it might uh, clash with something else that might make it difficult to read. Uh, the only symbol here that potentially could be a problem is this K which is black uh, type on a sort of darkish grey background. Now that's what's in here. But I can actually read that even like from a way away. And uh, it's, it's not a problem. I think maybe if I was working it in the evening and uh, I might want a light pad, but I think it's an optional extra light pad for a quality of life thing, not a I can't do this diamond painting because I can't see it type of situation. So yeah, it, all in all, I, I'm really, I'm quite impressed with this canvas actually. And I, I don't think you can see it, but this is, because the glue obviously is quite uh, shiny, but there is a lot of glitter in this canvas. Uh, yeah, no, super, super sparkly. And the, the glue is very sticky. I know that sounds silly. Uh, there is various levels though of um, sticky glue. And sometimes it'll be sticky, but it'll not be, you know, it's just sticky, tacky. But this is, this is close to being on what um, double-sided adhesive is like. So it's very, very sticky. And uh, yeah, oh, did I mention the training wheels? I can't remember if I mentioned that in this one or it was in my, my first version that I had to uh, delete because it was out of focus. Um, there are training wheels on, this dark, on some of these darker colours. They're not black training wheels. So what I mean by that is like it's like the circle around the symbol and it helps you tell where to place the drill. Uh, it's not black, it's like a sort of dark grey and it's quite faint so they're not too invasive and it's on the darker colours because look this is the white and if you've done a round diamond painting with those circles on you'll know that it's the light colours that's the problem because you see the black showing through the gaps none of it has uh, got the circles on the light colours so it's only the dark colours and it's only sort of pale grey uh, so yeah this is uh, this thought of thought has gone into this canvas and i'm quite impressed so uh yeah hopefully that will all be in focus now and we can go back to what i said originally so yeah back to the original video overall i have to say that is a very very good first impression uh if it wasn't for the fact that i'd seen a few rogue uh pictures that you know is stolen artwork let's be honest it's stolen artwork on their website i'd be a lot happier but the fact that I, I've done a reverse image check on this and as far as I could tell it you know it didn't belong to anybody uh, but everything else like the image is good the canvas is sharp the colors I mean we've got 32 colors which is a nice uh, amount of colors for this for this size and uh, the, the sparkly canvas uh, this is probably one of the sparkliest canvases I've ever seen this is it's not showing up probably but this has a lot of glitter in this canvas. Lots of sparkle, so that's really nice. The only other bugbear is like these small packets of drills, but that's a minor irritation. I generally, generally I work out of bags if I can, but this one I would kit up because it's it'd be too annoying to work out of all these little bags, but yeah. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Anytime I do a follow up on this, I will eventually do this canvas. And when I do, I might even do it. I might even have like a kitting up video or a colour and chat. If I do, it will all be over on my other channel, which is my diamond painting channel. And uh, that's where I will post a post review as well. So what I will do, as long as I remember, I will come back and I will put links up in the corner to any videos or a playlist that contains any videos about this uh, particular canvas. 
I will leave links below to where you can buy this canvas if you're interested and also to the Colour Relaxation uh, website. But for now, first impressions, they're all good. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you found this useful, give me a thumbs up and I will see you again soon. Take care and bye for now. Bye.